thought what happened in Gunane. There was a project that could have changed the face of Gunane. But uh, that is a But because the chiefs objected to it, maybe not knowing what they were doing, but used by the Germans. Today, that place is the same. Now, South is another one, all areas are poor. Also, claiming to be very, very poor. But there seem to be things happening there. There is this talk of new things that we are all learning about. That's a green hydrogen. And there are experts here in Spain. But given that, they also found well. Everywhere. So, given that we thought instead of chasing investors and chasing things away, which could solve our problem of poverty. The All People's Party says it would not oppose the development of the Green Hydrogen Project. However, among others, the party wants the multi million dollar scholarship program to be offered to the most deserving and qualifying Namibians. This is really something that we are very much grateful to the, to His Excellency and his team for coming up with this, with this initiative and the, bringing the, this project that can bring hope to our people. We are very much thankful and we, I believe from our side as APP, we have no any objection to this uh, project, so we are in support. We are going to be very happy if we are going to see our children. They must take over. Not always, yes, Namibia has the law. As I see, always used to see the foreigners, they have to take over. This is our Namibian resources and this is our place. Now to my side, as a mother, I want to urge that we need our children to be put also to lead these things, not only foreigners. The party leadership also cautioned against foreign investors dictating the terms of projects at the expense of Namibians. We have these uh, investors, we call them investors. They come here with very, very good intentions. They give us their ideas, sometimes present to us those beautiful presentations and things like that. But then at the end of the time, what, uh, what pains and worries one is that uh, as time goes, these people we call investors, they tend into what I sometimes call dictating us in our own country to do exactly as we please and sometimes divert from the way of our laws. For example, even paying our people peanuts and uh, mistreating our people and this kind of things. Mr. President, uh, uh, the Deputy President and many others, you know better yourselves, you know, as elders of this country. The struggle was about to get rid of some of these things. But uh, until when are we, for some time, going to look at People coming into our house, treating us sometimes so badly. Not all of them. Not all of them. You find people from outside Namibia, they are working. But Namibians are in, in the streets at home, starting now with criminal affairs. Or murdering people, or raping children, because they don't have anything to do. So my concern is, is it going to benefit the Namibian? citizen or a foreign citizen. Unless if you tell me that no, they will come and teach the, the Namibians how to go about it. Yes, I'll agree. But if you tell me that you'll bring in people to come and work in Namibia, I won't agree with that. We're estimating about 32,000 jobs. They were saying that um, the number of people employed at full capacity and during operations were here, given here. But importantly for us, how many of those jobs would go to Namibians? This is a number that mattered to us. 
93% of the jobs were estimated to come home. And even those jobs that were not to come home, we looked at them, it's like senior management and specialist skills, which is why we're starting with our scholarship program today. The feasibility studies for the project are likely to commence in June this year. Blanche Corres, NBC News.